Cornell is definitely a favorite of mine, and it'll be, be interesting to see uh, if the Ravens bring him back. Uh, I'd like to see him brought back, assuming he's healthy. Um, just a violent, physical, aggressive, Raven-style defender. Even if we brought in a, a, a guy like Marlon Davidson or, or A.J. Epinesa early in the draft, I'd, I'd still love to have Cornell on board, just um, imagining a, a rotation of those guys or some of those guys uh, together getting after the quarterback uh, all year long. Cornell is such a weapon um, because of his versatility. You can see Coach Martindale lines them up over the center here, two-point stance at the line of scrimmage. Uh, you can tell what he's thinking. I'm going right through. I'm going right through the center. Shoots both hands as soon as that ball moves and puts the center on his butt. Watch how quick and powerful he is with these hands. Drives the center. Really doesn't have a chance um, other, than, other than to kind of trip Purnell on his way to the quarterback. But he, he wins this uh, rep against the center right away. We see a very, uh, what I would consider a signature of, of Purnell's here, this wide outside jab step here. Uh, it's very effective, and you can see the spring he gets laterally there, uh, causing his tackle to miss. That's very common uh, a move of his, just to kind of fake outside. Really gets a lot of spring uh, inside, uh, and the tackle doesn't lay a glove on him. The other thing is, he can get in the backfield and win, uh, as you're supposed to, against a running back. No problem, just go right through these guys. Um, you get a better sense of that from the All-22. Watch the, uh, the pop he lays on the running back, and uh, this ball comes out quickly, but goes right through him and <laughs> picks him up off the ground. And... Purnell shows a, a great ability to split um, offensive lineman. Here he comes straight at the outside shoulder. You can see him kind of leaning toward the outside shoulder of this tackle. Uh, tackle stepping to get outside. See that kick and slide. Really concerned about Purnell outside. Here comes Purnell with that, that wide step to the outside and that spring inside. You can see how quick he is there. He's got the, got the tackle overcommitted uh, and he's going to beat him. Watch how he gets skinny here. Look at him control the wrist too. Look at his hands. Watch him control the wrist of the, of the uh, left tackle here. And split these two, goes right through this guard. And he's going to finish. As he's, as he's coming through, watch his attention to the quarterback. Gets square and finishes. Uh, let's watch that from above. It's Purnell right here. Purnell's so nuanced with this fake off the line. Here he's at four eye. He's going to run a stunt with Ricard. Um, watch the head fake. Watch the movement with his head and uh, sort of jab inside, then outside. See that lean outside with his shoulder and with his head. The tackle, or excuse me, the guard really doesn't know which way to commit there. You can see he's off balance. That hand is so powerful. He really just clubs a lot of times at guys' shoulders. He's able to move them. Again, he's very uh, quick laterally, surprisingly. Um, you can see the center recognizing this, this stunt being run here. Immediately kind of turns his attention to Purnell. Cannot get over quickly enough, and he splits the two of them. And brings the quarterback down. Here's Purnell lined up uh, at three tech. You're going to see the guard get a really nice punch with his inside arm to Purnell's outside uh, shoulder here. A lot of guys are just going to, that, that powerful of a punch is going to stop a lot of guys right in their tracks. You can see it rocks uh, Purnell and causes that outside arm, Purnell's outside arm, to go high. Purnell keeps trucking. You see that arm followed. He's going to miss there. A little bit of a collision with Bowser, but he's going to press his way back. Pushing, pushing the guard toward the quarterback. You see the, the guard uh, kind of control him by grabbing his helmet, throwing them to the ground. But just Purnell's really, really relentless in his pursuit after the quarterback here. It's part of a gap exchange stunt here with the linebacker. And again, we see that, that lateral quickness, but just great effort right there, spending himself to get the ball carrier, finding the ball carrier uh, and bringing him down backside. Good pursuit. Watch this effort. Uh, look at the space the back has there to run. 
watch again. Always uh, good awareness, always great effort and great physicality. Watch him get into this wide receiver off the ball. Um, if this guy, you know, if the plan was for him to uh, somehow hold Purnell up, that's not happening. If he was going to go out on a route, he's going to be rerouted. And watch Purnell's awareness. He's going to chase this ball down. Watch, again, the effort to bring down the ball carrier here. Just another look at how uh, relentless he is, um, how he goes all out. And um, he's not going to be able to stop and start and run with this wide receiver uh, as he stays square to the line of scrimmage here. And watch the hustle. This play highlights Purnell's ability to, to win uh, quickly for, from the interior. Um, uh, here we have him standing in the B-gap, just violent, violent hands. Uh, you can see him strike the guard right at the elbow there, knock that arm away, sort of soft shoulder, and really does a nice job. Again, kind of splitting the uh, tackle and the guard here. And then at that point, he's going to close the deal. Violent, violent finish. Watch him go for the football here. Watch it again. 